So my brother spam calling me and texting me and he sends me the new Adam Calhoun video, which is titled Macklemore says fuck America and white people are guests in hip hop. I don't even want to get going with that fucking statement. I really don't. That just pisses me off. He says, dude, you got to watch Adam Calhoun's new video. You're going to be really excited. So I'm about to check it out and see what's up with this. Hi, friends. Before I get into this video, guys, right now, go over to Mises' page. We just dropped a brand new music video today as you're watching this, and then come back and watch this video. Okay, here we go. Macklemore or Macklemore. He's a white rapper. Have you ever heard of him? He's a white rapper that's ashamed of being... Yeah, he did that thrift shopping song. Macklemore, do you want to go dick shopping? Being white. He makes songs about thinking he was gay in the third grade, like right here. <laughs> when I was in the third grade, I thought that I was gay. You thought you were gay in the third grade. I mean, it rhymes, I guess. <laughs> I thought I was gay in the third grade, walked around and my butt was in a bunch of pain. Third grade? I was burying G.I. Joes in the front yard and Fact. I don't even know if that word was in my vocabulary at third grade. Now, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, we use that word as a greeting to our friends. We're like at the lunch table, we're like, ha, gay? Facts, like, I, I grew mean? up but at I... the end of that generation. I grew up at the end of that generation. <clears throat> Digress. You, you did this right here? You said this? Straight up, say it. I'm not gonna stop you. I'm not gonna stop you. Um, yeah, f America. Wow. What? Fuck who? You say fuck America? Where you made all your money at? Where you can walk around safely and say fuck America and not get... Go to any other country and Facts. say that country and see how fast you are not alive. I'm gonna tell you Facts. what's gonna happen. Well, this is never gonna happen. I'll I love tell you that. See how fast you're not alive. What's gonna happen. Well, this is never gonna happen. I'll tell you what would happen if someone said F America in the crowd at one of my shows, you're not gonna make it back home, guaranteed. I, come to, have you seen my shows? USA! USA! No fucking way, bro. USA! No fucking USA! shot. USA! USA! The reason why you're a millionaire. Bro, so why? I'm so confused. You posted my video, <clears throat> which that was fucking amazing, by the way. That concert was dope. You know, I, I don't even want to get into that because I made a million other videos on that. But dude, that concert was fucking sick. You treated me amazingly. I had honestly the fucking greatest time of my life. And it was cool as shit to get to meet you and the man in the wheelchair. And um, your photographer, Rocco, had uh, hit me up and I got his phone number. And uh, I sent the clip that you played of you, you know, getting people going. And I sent him tons of videos of you and Demon Jones hugging some phenomenal stage side pictures of Demon, Brantley, you. Um, I have tons of other videos. I wanted to send them to you so we could try and get that video to the uh, people of the man in the wheelchair. And I still have the video, but now I see why my brother said I would have been excited. Come to, have you seen my shows? <laughs> That's wild, bro. Like, I appreciate the fuck out of you for posting me on your channel. You didn't even have to give me credit. You could have fucking cropped me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, that's huge, man. I appreciate that, brother. And facts, dude. Everybody there was... Dude, we all loved the U.S. Everybody was going crazy. I seen tons of red, white, and blue. Lots of cowboy hats and country boots, man. You got a diehard fucking fan base, brother. So if people want to start some shit, they got another thing fucking coming. People ride or die. And I seen that shit first fucking hand. So honestly, fuck what Macklemore is saying because it's only a matter of time before something happens to him. I'm starting to think he was touched by Diddy. F America in the crowd at one of my shows. You're not going to make it back home. Guaranteed. I, come to... Have you seen my shows? USA! 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 The reason why you're a millionaire, the reason why you're safe, the reason why you are free is because you live in the most freest country in the world. Yes, you have the most freedoms in the world. For some research, for Macklemore, he'll never see this fucking video, but if anybody's ever wondering why he's making the points that he's making, just go do a little bit of research on the year 1776, and you'll figure Still out living why. living in America. Why is everyone 
crossing the border and coming over here and trying to seek asylum to live here because it's better here than anyone else in the world. And then an interviewer asked him this shit right here. Being yeah. a white rapper in hip hop, that's a predominantly black genre. And oftentimes people say, you're a guest. Mm -hmm. How do you take that statement? I think it's true. Uh, it is true. Because you allow yourself to be a guest. You are not making music for everyday listeners. You're making, in my eyes, you've only ever made realistically two hits. There was a song with another guy that you did. Oh, this boat is sinking. I don't remember what song that was. That was all right back in the day. Mac, uh, and thrift shopping, I don't think it was that good. So, I mean, you are a guest, bro. It's not like you're an Eminem or an Adam Calhoun or, you know, somebody that's a mainstay in hip-hop with a diehard yeah. fan base. He just, I don't think Macklemore even really has a fan base. How many black balls can you fit in and all around your mouth? It is true. No, it isn't. Listen, kids, if you're white, you are not a guest in hip hop. You'll have to realize that this is not your house hmm. and that you are a guest and take your shoes off and help with some dishes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you little scared ass white bitch. You know what? <laughs> I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. Without white America, Hip hop wouldn't be as gigantic as it is. We are who they are influencing. Like white people listen to hip hop. Black people listen to fucking hip hop. Indians listen to hip hop. But I feel like the biggest fucking mainstay in hip hop is white listeners. All your white girls, all your white dudes trying to support their corny girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, white people are the biggest profit to the hip hop world, in my opinion. Now, look at all the people who play MLB and 2K and all that shit. And look at all the hip hop predominantly black musicians that are played in those songs. And we all get hyped up at sporting events and shit. Like, because in my opinion, I believe that white people are one of the biggest consumers of hip hop. Right, right. We accept it. It's accepted by me. All the friends I grew up with, it's accepted into American culture. So, yeah, white rappers can rap because this is, this is man, f fuck y'all. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not a guest. I'm going to walk in that house, it's say what up to art, Method bro. Man, paint a picture of Big L, write We all have lyrics, a freedom to express and, uh, ourselves, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if some random ass scared ass white boy or some some other person of a different color says i'm not accepted in hip-hop or i'm not in the house i can't be in that man shut the fuck i'm not taking my shoes you do the dishes you you look Facts. like a female you're acting like a female you do the damn dishes dog hey hey mike mike hey fuck you mike <laughs> I agree with you, bro. Fucking A, man. I appreciate you posting me in that video, though. That shit was awesome. Ah, Gave me a little bit of uh, some clout in a healthy way, and I appreciate the hell out of that. So I'm going to return the favor here. Yo, so I'm rocking Adam Calhoun's merch right now, right? The Goon Squad fit. Hold up. Let me do a little turnaround for y'all. If you guys fuck with the merch... The link to his merch will be in the description. It's all made and manufactured in the U.S. He handles everything himself. Boss shit. I'm sending love his way. Much love to him. And I agree with man 100 fucking percent. If you guys like my content, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, baby. Fuck yeah. Also, yo, Adam, if you want those videos and those pictures, hit up Rocco and... I'll send them all again. I got his phone number. I sent them all to him. So we'll figure something out, brother. But until then, man, I appreciate you and much love.